Impact was immediate. By early 1896, clinicians in Europe and the United States were using x-rays to locate fractures, bullets, and swallowed objects. By June, battlefield surgeons employed them. In 1897, during the Balkan War, x-rays aided surgery. Diagnosis gained a window inside the living body without cutting it open. Public fascination exploded. Bone portraits, political cartoons, poems, even talk of x-ray glasses. Studios opened and devices spread quickly. Early on, many believed x-rays were as harmless as light. Contradiction arrived with reports of burns and skin damage. In 1904, Thomas Edison's assistant, Clarence Daly, died of cancer after extensive exposure. Yet unrestrained uses persisted, including shoe-fitting fluoroscopes from the 1930s to 1950s. 